can tell me. So when you're doing it, you can turn this before you start. You, you got to practice and figure out your way. You know what I mean? So see, now it's off. Ultimately, you want this up on top of that one. Because this is still one inch border that's not sterile. Y'all remember all that from five minutes ago? <laughs> from five minutes. Not really. I don't remember anything right now. Okay. So, you can figure out how to do the tray. Hold on. This is your KY. Sometimes it comes in a syringe like the water. So make sure you know the difference. So you squirt it out. You can put it wherever you would like. This flares through. So then you drop it down. Your water. See the balloon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you just want to test it to make sure that there's no holes. So, I mean, obviously good. you're not putting all the 10 cc's you're in You're just there. really blowing it up enough to make sure that when you do it for real and leave it in their bladder. Okay, it's not going to burst. Or... Yeah, and okay. that the water didn't leak out. Hey, where are we going next? Um, you can either go to Miss Rogers. She and said do a circle. I think we're going this way. Uh, you're going. Okay, so that's good, right? So I always put it back. And I leave your saline. I'm, that's sterile water, I'm sorry. On there. You will either have betadine or it'll be cotton balls in your pack. This is the whole pack of beta. So you pull that out. You can separate these before you do that if you want. Then drop it down. Okay? I gotta go on that side to do it. I have to do it that way every time. Okay, so I like to sit this here in the one inch mark. Good? Everybody good? So once this hand goes, it's no longer sterile. Right. Grab. There's no coming. Back. There's no coming back. On this one, you do not have to spread. The other one's hard. That one. So I'm just gonna pretend so y'all can see. Okay? Can you see? You go side, top to bottom, and drop it. Another one. When they're wet, they'll be easier to pick up as well. Side, drop. Center, center, and while you, when once you start to go in the center, that's when you need to start looking to see where you're going to insert your catheter. Okay, and go top to bottom, and then drop all this because this is all contaminated. Right. You do not want to have a cotton ball and go like this and go over here because I've just gone across all this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So drop it. I always say start at the top, bottom, and drop. You can do you can do like this and drop it to the side. It doesn't matter as long as you do not go back across. Okay. okay. Everybody good with that? Mm -hmm. So my hands that is holding um, is contaminated. Everybody Correct. got. We've dipped this in the KY. Do not dip a lot. You dip enough KY that it is lubricated. Do not dip enough that you see the opening gets clogged. On smaller folies, it would be easier to clog one opposed to this one. Okay. So we've dipped it. We've got it, right? So is all of this still sterile? Yes. So if I even drag this, that's sterile, right? That's the key. So when you go... In, it's not on guy. You keep going until you see urine, the Golden River. Okay. Got it? So we've seen urine. You can let go with this right hand, grab this, right? Mm -hmm. You can grab this because you're, you're already the way in. You're not going to take this catheter in any further, right? Right. <clears throat> Blow it up. Take this syringe off. And so it's it is in. I'm gonna stick it here so it's in. Okay. Right. You will rip this. I always grab this and wipe the excess betadine off. You hear that? Right. Rip. And 
so that they don't get a baby down there. So, so you had ripped you'd rip the top of this yes. little drape right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. In and the then middle I there. normally rip it and I take this part of my drape and wipe the baby down. Okay. Because these have a lot of baby down, and you want when you go side to side that you're that you're covering that surface. Like if you see skin that's not baby down. You're not doing it properly. Right. Okay. And when you go down, when you start wiping, they'll say it winks, it does a bubble, like where you should insert the catheter. If you were to do this on a female your first time, and let's say we went here into the vagina instead of the urethra, you would just leave that and have somebody in the room get you another um, catheter. And if you just open, they can open the catheter for you, and you can put a catheter. So you, this is a landmark, is what you do. You leave it there. Uh, you don't blow it up. That's why you would leave it there. You leave it okay. there for a landmark because now I know my next time I've got to go above this. Is one. that is that common among students being in the vagina like that? I think that it. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, I've done it. Depends on the anatomy of the person. Yeah, when Usually, you're surveying the scene, I guess. When right? you survey yeah. the scene and you start wiping, normally you know. The vagina is very easily spotted. Mm -hmm. um, That's why I said I was gonna make but on okay. some people, their urethra is not where it should be. Right. And sometimes it'll be over on the wrong side. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be the, the folds and everything. Else. I mean, so there's times where I'm like, I know that's not the vagina because I see the vagina, so it must be. Mm. And it won't be. It'll be like. Oh, so then you you yourself would leave that there and say, I would "Well, just I got it right go there, and else. I would keep my hands here." Right. Usually, you real you know before you even start when you're surveying the scene if you don't have a problem. Mm. It's in your sleep. Not always. Not when they're okay. So once safe. that's done, you rip this off, wipe off the excess, you gather all your supplies. Right. I'm going to leave that tucked under her so y'all mm -hmm. can see. Grab this. I get rid of all my trash. I come over here to the trash can. Drop it off. Take your gloves off because you just prepped somebody's dirty. You can, depending on what you're going to do, sometimes. And some of this I'm just telling you for when you really do it. If the foley's just in there for surgery, sometimes I'll ask. You can put it under the leg, and then you just secure it so that it's not pulling. Um, this is what you have to be cautious of so that it doesn't, their leg does not create a pressure. How would you secure that? You can go under non her. Non-perforating top clip? Um, no. Like tape? You would either use tape or mm. it comes with, it's called a, yeah. So you can either put those on, mm. um, and it will. Then you put the oh, actual their foley leg. right here. Oh, okay, okay. As, and depending on what position we're doing, sometimes we're going prone. So when I put a foley in, I'm not gonna put that on there right. because then they're gonna be laying on it, and it's a hard plastic clip mm -hmm. that you that would cause an in, um, indentation in your leg. You have to do. So you might tape, or you, if we're going to go prone, I normally leave it like this, and when we flip them over, and then um, secure it un underneath, so that this isn't there. And where are you securing that bag itself? The bag oh, just this on the bed there you somewhere? See the, it'll hang on the bed. But oh, okay. You just do not want it on the floor dragging with the germs and the blood. And normally when we're doing surgery, we will put it up towards anesthesia because they are the ones monitoring. Mm. So for purposes of takeoff, what do we need to do? That's secure it to the bed. Secure it to the bed. Do we you need the same thing about the lure lock to the leg or taping it on the leg? The, the other steps didn't have it in there either, but you would secure this to their leg. If we didn't have one, I would use a piece of tape. I'm just going to show you this. I'm not going to take it so you don't have to. Maybe I'm going to show you. Are you serious right now? Have you never seen a picture before? Okay.